everybody. My name is Catherine and I'm an adult services librarian at the South Huntington Public Library. And today I have for you um, a couple of psychological thrillers to uh, recommend. Uh, I like these types of books because they, um, I'm intrigued by what makes people tick and um, you know, whether it's, it's the antagonist or the victim, you, you kind of, uh, and sometimes you don't know which is which because the narrator is unreliable, but I just like understanding why people act the way they do, so I found them super interesting. So, here we go. Um, the first book that I have for you today is Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Robel. Um, I actually, this book was on my radar right before we shut down the, the library uh, due to the pandemic. And um, you know, it took a while to be able to get a copy. It's a it's a fairly new book, uh, but once it was processed and I could get my hands on it, I read it in three sittings. I couldn't put it down. So, Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Robel. This is her debut novel. Um, it actually, I, I read after I finished the book. I read in the back a little bit about her, and I come to find that the book was actually um, started as her graduate thesis when she was in the MFA program, uh, writing program at Emerson College. So that's how this book started. But the book opens with Patty Ward, who is getting out of jail after spending five years uh, in prison for child abuse. And who is there to pick her up but her daughter, Rose Gold, her only child, and the victim of her, her abuse. So. Um, I'm kind of fascinated by people who have Munchausen syndrome by proxy, and this sort of gives an insight into somebody who has it. And um, in this book, the, the narrative alternates between Patty and Rose Gold, and neither one is really a, a reliable narrator, so you don't really know who's telling the truth. So I don't want to say too much more, but as the book unfolds, it's. Um, it's quite compelling, and you'll just keep turning pages to find out what happens next. So, Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Robel. The next one I have for you is Baby Teeth by Zoji Stage. This is um, also another debut novel, very, very compelling debut. Um, actually, I just read an article. Um, she's coming out with another book called, uh, I believe it's called Wonderland. So, um, that's something to look forward to as well. But, um, so Baby Teeth is about seven-year-old Hannah, and she does not speak, she's mute. Um, her parents, Alex and um, Suzette, have taken her for all sorts of tests, and um, medical tests, and psychological tests, trying to figure out, but Hannah, she just, she chooses not to speak. So of course this ca causes all sorts of problems in the household. Uh, Suzette has to homeschool her, um, you know, they, they're, you know, run into some, some conflicts. Um, of course, Alex, the father, is away at, at work all day, um, believes that Hannah is just this sweet child because that's all he sees in the evening when he comes home. And she loves her daddy and she's very sweet to him, but she tortures her mother when the father is not around. So is, is Hannah, um, actually a, a horrible devil child or is Suzette crazy and she's imagining all this so again I don't want to say too much but as the story uh, unfolds you'll see what happens in this family very interesting very interesting so the next one I have for you is Our House by Louise Candlish this is actually the the large print edition because the regular one is out so the cover looks a little different but um, this book is about a, a couple, um, Abraham and Fiona, they go by Graham and Fee, um, and they have a very unusual um, custody arrangement. They're, they're divorced, and it's called Bird's Nest Custody, and in this uh, scenario, they actually keep their house, which is um, in London, uh, they actually keep their house, and the children stay there, so instead of shuttling them back and forth, each, you know, whatever parent has custody that week or weekend or whatever the arrangement is, stays in the house, and then the per person whose turn it's not stays in a flat uh, elsewhere that they also share. So the book opens with Fiona arriving at their pretty expensive prized home and to find a new family moving in. But she didn't sell the house. 
and all her things are gone, her children are missing, she doesn't know what's going on. So the story alternates between Fee and Bram, and part of Fee's narrative is actually done in the form of a true crime podcast, and part of Bram's uh, narrative is sort of a confession letter that he's composing, and um, when you find out what's really going on and why, you're going to be hooked. This will keep you up reading until well into the night. So Our House by Louise Cambush. And the last title I have for you today is The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. Um, those of you who have seen some of my book talks before know um, that I recommended her book, The Family, um, the, house I grew, the House I Grew Up In uh, was one of her, uh, I think that was one of, I don't know if that was her first book or not, but it was the first one of hers that I read and she um, has written a bunch of books since. This one, um, The Family Upstairs, I actually don't have the book because it's they're all out, so I have a picture of it on my phone, so that's it. The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. Um, so this uh, story begins with Libby, uh, a young woman. She's just turned 25, and she's found out that she's inherited this um, slightly rundown house in London. And at the same time, she finds out that she was adopted as a baby after being abandoned in the house after her parents um, died in a suicide pact, and um, that there are a brother and sister who may or may not be alive. So the story follows her um, and alternates between the, the, three, the three people, the two, the sister, the brother, and Libby, um, and alternates in flashbacks in present day as Libby teams up with a, an investigative reporter to try to find the truth. But then you, you get the backstory from the other two, so you kind of really find out what's going on. And it's a, it's a delicious, twisty, turny, um, can't wait to find out what happens next kind of book. So. I hope you'll uh, check out The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. So those are the books that I have for you today. They're all available in hard copy. They're also available ebook and audiobook in our digital collection. And I hope you'll check them out. Thanks for watching.